So the term immortal, which you already agreed with me, the definition of, means someone who does not die. If someone dies and resurrects, okay, that is still shows that person is Im not immortal, but mortal. Why? Because the one who doesn't die, doesn't need to resurrect. Resurrection actually confirms mortality. You know why? Because only the dead rise. Only the dead need to resurrect. According to you, that God, yes, is he, does he have the attributes of all the persons only? Or does he have special attributes which distinguishes him from persons? He has special attributes. Okay, so what is that? What, what is it that distinguishes the person that you believe as God okay. to be distinct from other persons? One, one, one of his most distinct attributes is his, is his ability to create from nothing. Right. Right. Okay, so he's a creator. He creates from nothing. Okay, so he's a creator. Right. Yeah, what else? Another unique attribute of his yeah. is his faithful love. His love. His love. Okay, what right. else? Is that it? Only two his attributes? His appreciation of beauty. Okay. His complete holiness. Right. His complete power. His ability to be present everywhere. I could keep going, but I think that should okay. be enough. So you only gave me a handful still. Yeah, but I could keep going. Okay. How right. about how about omniscience? I agree with that. Okay. How about immortality? I completely agree with that. Good. So based on that definition, is Jesus a person? Yes. And is he God? Yes. Okay, so is Jesus immortal? Yes. So he wasn't killed on the cross? And he came back to life. No, no, no. Was he killed on the cross? Yes. Okay, so how can he be immortal then? He came back to life. No, no but you're... you're, you're excuse me. Excuse me. He came back to life. Okay, let me ask you this question. Right. Did he come back to life? He did. After he died? Yes. Can God die? In Jesus Christ, yes. Because... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait hold, on, on, hold, on hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Right. I God see what... So, so here's the thing. Why did you distinguish... Excuse me. Earlier you said he's immortal. Are, are you... Are and now you, he's saying yes, he you, died. Are you familiar with the concept of the incarnation? G God becomes man. What is the definition of God is who no, no. in Hold Jesus on. Christ? Excuse we me. We are still defining no, the no, attributes. No, in Jesus Christ, yeah. God is fully man and fully God. That's a contradiction. But, excuse me. I'm sorry. That's a contradiction. It's a mystery. Based on whom? Excuse me. It's, it's a God, mystery. God said He is not the author of confusion. My, my, when you add confusion, then that is not the word of God. Can I ask you a question? After you answer mine. Okay, what's your question? My question is this. What is your definition of immortal? Living forever. No, that's eternal. Okay. Once okay. again, what's your definition what, of immortal? What's your definition of immortal? First you tell me yours and I'll tell you mine. Okay, I don't know. Let's go with yours. Okay, so immortal means someone okay. who is not subject to death. Okay. Okay, do you agree? Right. Yes. Okay, you know what? I, that's a great definition. Good. Is God immortal? Yes. Okay. When, when somebody who's supposed to be God uh -huh. dies... Okay. and resurrects, right. is he immortal? Yes. Okay, once again, what's the definition of immortal? What's your definition of immortal? Thank you. God so is not can a I, man. Now, can I Were you back? paying attention when I gave you my definition? God is not a man. Can I answer back? Yeah. Answer what? Can I answer back? Okay. No, no, the question was, Listen, what's the, the in, definition in of immortal? Christ, yeah. In Christ, God is fully God and fully human. Where is that in the Bible? I'm sorry? Where is that in the Bible? John 17. What does it say? Philip, when, John 17 excuse, says what? I, oh, so, so here's something, right? I may not know the reference. No, no. no. Paraphrase it. Paraphrase me, it. No I, problem. Thank no you very problem. much. Jesus, I'll remind you the reference if I know it. Philip, a disciple, says to him, Lord, Master, show us the Father. Guess what Jesus says? Mm. Have I been with you this long? And you're asking me to show you the Father? If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Right. How does that answer the question? That he's fully God and fully man. I'm sorry? How does it answer the question? How does it answer what question? That he's fully that, God and fully man. That here is a, Jesus Christ is a man in flesh. And he is saying. Fully if, God and fully man. Me, That's what you have to define from me. the Bible. Jesus Christ is, is a man in flesh. Yeah, we know he's a man. I agree with that. Thank you. And Philip says, show us the Father. Right. And he says, if you have seen the if you've seen me, you have seen the Father. So guess what he, in that statement, guess what he does? Can I respond to that? Let me finish. In okay. that statement, he makes himself equal. With no, he doesn't. I'll tell yes, you why. He does. He's saying, I'll tell you why it's not. Seen me, you've no. seen the Father. Okay. What does the Father look like? I'm sorry? What does the Father look like? The Father's spirit. No, no, what does it look like? I don't know. So why did why did you just conclude that if you have seen me, right. you have seen the Father? 
That is implying that the father looks like Jesus. In the sense of his character. Right. His character, his yeah. attributes, his nature. No, no. When you have seen me, right. what does that mean? Listen, the Bible is very clear. You know, you every time I ask you a question, when I ask you about... When you, ho what, hold on. Listen, what's, listen, your, what's your listen, name, bro? What's your when name? you ask me a question... What's your name? Ubi. Ubi? My yes. name is Hashim. Let's nice restart, okay? Okay. We are trying to establish the truth. Okay. It's not a competition. I agree. Okay. So when I asked you earlier, okay. does God die? And you said no. Okay. Is God immortal and you said yes? Right. Then we both agreed upon the definition of immortal. Okay. That he does not die. Right. Okay. And then you But here's what you did. Like you you Listen, cut me no, off already. No. I bro, have, bro, I, I, I have to. If you let no no, no, no. hold your thought, no, let me finish. I have to because for okay. the sake of integrity, yeah. if we are going to have a conversation yeah. or a debate, if we are, you have to walk in integrity, right? So let me finish let and me, then no, you can me, give me you integrity. Me. You ask without the question, contradictions. You ask the question and you're fully aware of the incarnation, but you acted as though you are not aware of the incarnation. When did I say I didn't I wasn't aware? So why would you ask a question? No, no, why did you make that why? allegation? Because you ignore the incarnation. You ask, okay. is God immortal? Can yeah. God die? But you know about the incarnation. Can I, can I respond to that? that uh, you, okay. you know that according can I, to Christian belief, yes. that God took on flesh yes. and died. Yes. And three days later, he resurrected. You are aware of that. Okay, can I, can no, I respond? No, let me think. You're getting so emotional for no reason. I'm not. You I'm, are. I'm, I'm, you all worked you know up what? already. It's okay. And you are. You're okay. smiling. Uh, when I'm worked up, I don't no, just smile. But I'm saying you when I'm worked up, I'll be angry. But you're smiling. Exactly, which means I'm not so angry. That, so that's emotional. No, oh, I'm not so, angry. so to smile I'm is... I'm angry, I'm passionate. By the way, is it allowed to, to smile? To raise my voice is passionate. It doesn't mean I'm angry. No, but use rationality. To raise my voice doesn't that mean if, I'm not rational. Once you conclude... To be passionate Okay, let me know when you finish so I can get my word I'll in. let you get a word okay. in. If you make sense and you actually what? act with integrity. Okay. If you, if, you ask, question, if you ask... If you ask a question with integrity, <laughs> okay. I will answer. Integrity means you should remain... Integrity means that you're honest and fair. Yes. That you cannot pick like you don't know or that you cannot ask to entrap. Right. Okay. If you're truly trying to have a conversation with me, ask the conversation and don't try to entrap. Okay. Everybody here obviously knows what you know. All right. right? So can I, let me finish. Can, if you're going to <laughs> ask me a question, yes. don't ask to entrap. Be honest. Okay, good. Okay. You finished? Yes. Okay. You spoke for two minutes. I hope I get two minutes of silence see, from you. I didn't see you timing. What's that? I didn't see you timing. Well, I can use timing in my head. So you were timing your head? Yes. I know at least 20 minutes. That's impressive. Two minutes, Go okay? okay? Good. Integrity means you have to be honest, like you said. I totally agree. You shouldn't contradict, which is the most important thing. So on one hand, when you say that God dies, and on the other hand, you, you maintain that God is immortal, that is a self-contradictory statement, okay? You made a, an internal contradiction. Because we already agreed upon the definition of the term. Are you just looking at the watch or you're concentrating on the... I'm listening. Good. I promise. So the term immortal, which you already agreed with me, the definition of, means someone who does not die. If someone dies and resurrects, okay, that is still shows that person is Im not immortal, but mortal. Why? Because the one who doesn't die doesn't need to resurrect. Resurrection actually confirms mortality. You know why? Because only the dead rise. Only the dead need to resurrect. And once you die, even for a microsecond, yes, that, that itself disqualifies any person who claims to be God.